What's up, YouTube pop community? Jazz pops, right here. Uh, I'm just dropping in to show a few people uh, some of the different type of rustication techniques. The guys that's getting into making their own pops. Uh, one of the easiest ones, I'll show you a couple that I use. What this is, this is a auger on a... Uh, Taper drill set. This uh, this goes on here. It slides up and down. It's like a countersink. What I did is I took that off and put it on an old screwdriver. You see those teeth in there? Let me see if I can clean this out right quick to show you. These uh, these teeth work awesome for uh, a certain type of rustication. I was taught by the Pipe Carvers Guild. Uh, on these but as you can see if you push that in so far push it back in move it around you get uh, you get this sort of this chunky colish uh, looking texture and you can go as deep as you want and you can go as light as you want. Uh, some people just keep it kicking one direction. I usually go back and forth, back and forth, clockwise, counterclockwise. And uh, it'll give you this uh, rustic look. Let's see if we can get it going one direction, see what it looks like. Okay, yeah. We'll stick to what I do on mine. I try to hit the same spot. You can take it and want it back and forth. <clears throat> and then you can take your steel brush. Rub over the top of it. See that rusticated look, the way it gives it. That's one way that I do some of my rustication. Another way is you can get yourself one of these, a Dremel. And see that ball? You can actually take this Dremel. I'll do you a couple over here. And you can actually... Do the golf ball pattern. And it'll give you that texture there. Or, which is another one that's sort of a lot of people like to do. Uh, let me throw this one out here right quick. And you've got to be careful because if this ball rolls across the top of the wood, it'll snag a finger. But you can do... You can keep your lines going one direction. Give it and then bring the brush over the top of it, knock any other debris out of it, and give it what's what people consider the tree stump rustication. Um, that's a couple more. You can actually take this ball if you want to run sun this way and lay this thing flat and go back over the lines. That you created. And it'll give it sort of a 
I don't know, it's over micro, like a micro uh, mesh look to it. But anyways, that's just some of the some of the rustication type stuff that I do. You can actually do some that is like a, I'll do one more, and it separates the lines. And this also is almost like a, a tree bark style rustication. Uh, it'll takes a little bit more time than just scrubbing the side of the ball. Uh, but you have to sort of think of it as if you're, you know, doing bark or you're laying, laying a hardwood floor in a brick or something, trying to, trying to separate the joints. Where they come together. But anyways, there you go. There's uh, four different types of rustication for you guys that's uh, learning to make your pipes and have contacted me. Uh, you know, about different types of rustication. I'm hoping that'll, that'll help you out a little bit. But uh, anyhow, y'all have a great day. God bless and smoke on. and uh, Happy pipe making. Get out there and kick some dust up. Y'all have a great one. I'm out.